So what are you seeing? Because I feel like the tipping point now for for youth, um, you mm. know, suicide, mm. depression, anxiety is like gangbusters mm-hmm. right now, which is devastating. It's it's affecting so many adolescents, especially because I mean, thinking back to my childhood, however, thirty five years ago or thirty thirty years ago, I'm forty two. Um, you know, we didn't have social media. Mm-hmm. We just had normal adolescent, good old high school drama and mm-hmm. hormones and, mm-hmm. you know, thinking the world was going to end if this boy didn't like right. me or whatever <laughs> right. it was. So no, now we have this comparison in this 24-7 news mm-hmm. cycle, which mm-hmm. is mostly negative and yep. um, violent. And I mean, these kids and then the comparison and the likes or dislikes of social mm-hmm. media, it's too mu- then coupled with you know, maybe poor diet because teenagers tend to eat poor diet, mm-hmm. as I did. I'm shocked that I'm so healthy today based on what I grew up on. But um, what do you, can you talk a little bit about the gut health connection to brain? Absolutely. And what's going on right now? It, it really start. you know, uh, the fascinating thing is teenagers, we see teenagers manifesting a bunch of, uh, usually a, a puberty will always, in a cr- you know, pu- puberty is kind of a crazy trip anyway, right? Yeah. But it's heavy on its own, right? It's heavy on its own, even if you're pretty balanced. But we're looking at generations now that literally have been raised on infant formula. A lot of them are cesarean. So if you go back to microbiome, where does the microbiome truly start? Well, number one, it really helps with the mo- mother's nutrition. But number two, vaginal birth. You know, as we come out the canal and we get scraped, you know, in the mm-hmm. canal, that's basically where we start our microbiota are good mi- microbiota, and that helps start good um, gut functionality flora, and, yeah. and flora and et cetera. And now, we go with real crappy, highly processed, you know, with a lot of things have GMO, you know, infant formula does, and you get, you know, the usual Western diet. So a kid is 10, and that seems young, but the kid's been on a really toxic diet for 10 years. Mm-hmm. So if you do anything for a decade, you're going to have yeah. symptomatology, right? And then you know, puberty kicks in, yeah. hormones change. But here's the problem. With a lot of these kids, they never got the enteric nervous system balanced enough, which is the enteric nervous system is that nervous system of the gut-brain connection. So if it never got to flourish, if it was never a healthy um, gut from the start, then anxiety, depression, all of these are actually, I won't say normal, but they're common sequelae to what's going on yeah. in the dysbiosis. They're less resilient in their literal protective lining of their gut. They're Absolutely. Less, their immune system is their protector, and because it wasn't able to develop as nature intended or as, right. as resilient, it's there, it's, and it has it will have the opportunity if given the right support, but you know, this is why it's a much greater conversation than, you know, it's so good to be aware, mm-hmm. but then, you know, so many people in lower economic status yeah. don't have access to whole foods. No, and, well, by design, yeah. It's, and they're it's, stressed it's because they're in under the poverty line mm-hmm. and so there's all i mean it's like such a big conversation mm-hmm. but it's so good for, to be aware of because mm-hmm. if you see a sensitive teenager whether you're in the inner city or in beverly hills you realize that it, it could be as simple as a gut dysbiosis uh, yeah absolutely there's, and, there, and a, there and is an unhealthy a connection. microbiome and, and immune system and, and can you if they didn't if they didn't um if they weren't given the opportunity to have a resilient enteric mm-hmm. nervous system mm-hmm. Can you fix that going forward if you start to kind of treat it? Well, I, I think so. And I think that's why, you know, a big push for those of us in lifestyle medicine is, is to go downward to the young, to the youth, to get mm-hmm. the kids eating better. And sometimes it's a generational gap. Like sometimes the parents won't, don't want to eat better, right? Well, try to educate the kids to a lot of their problems are literally just manifestation of, of the dysbiosis or dysfunction going on in their body. And we know as kids is little ones how do they act out they cry and they they can't tell you what's going on Mm -hmm. and i believe a lot of the adolescents and even the teenagers can't really verbally tell you that they're struggling Mm -hmm. but they are right Mm -hmm. they're having this pretty systemic dysfunction and so some of the the journals uh, are are we got autism you know adhd we got all these addictive behaviors you know compulsive uh, ocd OCD disorders these are all starting to 
show fruition of, oh, man, this is a really a gut-related issue, mm-hmm. right? And if you think about when you're, when you're nervous, right, when you mm-hmm. think about butterflies you know, or you've got a test and you're, what are you doing? You're stressing. Mm-hmm. You're not balanced, right? So if these kids are in, kids or even young adults are in this environment all the time, then they basically are regressing mm-hmm. their ability to heal and grow mm-hmm. and regenerate, yeah. and heal, right? There's a lot of stress happening. There is a lot of stress. Generation. You know, I mean, social media is a classic brutal. example. You know, it is. It's brutal. You know, and, you know, kids are mean. I, it's a funny thing. We always have mean kids when we have little, little et cetera. But it, it's gotten to just such a heightened mm-hmm. 24-7 type of speed. It's just too bad. But, you know, I will say to the parents out there, look, you do control. You have a lot of control still on things. So turn things off. There's nothing in social media that's going to be that important you know a little bit here and there is fine but again it's somewhere to drunk junk food or you know as we i get asked about alcohol a lot or chocolate again it's once in a while is no big deal and i and the biggest thing for most of our patients is i call it going to vegas right so (laughs) they always ask me we get going on things and they're like well when can i have x right yeah and x is you know inflammatory wine, yeah, right. or, or worse. french fries or, yeah, exactly, oh, yeah. or worse and i say look here's the deal if you have chronic progressive disease or the manifestation of the symptomatology meaning you might even be early in it then you really have to go about it in an aggressive way focused way and allow the body super to clean heal. super rigid super clean yeah well, super rigid is yeah for the most part i guess it would be rigid for a lot of people's yeah. psyches but <laughs> you got to clean it up. But guess what? Once you're cleaned up, then you can do something. That's why I call it going to Vegas. So yeah. if you go to Vegas, remember, you go to Vegas, and you just get, you know, you get railed, right? You get railed for the weekend, <laughs> right? You, Monday morning, you're going back to work, and you're like, holy cow, that was fun, I guess, you know? But if you went to Vegas every weekend, right? Oh, yeah month after month after month yeah. you're going to be in a world of hurt and i think that's the thing it's we always look for the you know i get a lot of questions of which is the worst food and it's like it just doesn't work that way it's a cumulative thing and you you led this this conversation off in accumulation it's a cum- life is cumulative mm-hmm. right but you can always heal yeah and that's the big thing so i get patients in their 70s on our programs that have told me Man, 50 years of this, and it's gone. Right? Mm-hmm. So, you know, you you got to have the belief system in, the, in yeah. the human body. It will heal. It's Yeah, you said this beautiful line in Heal where um, you said something like, the body heals way faster than it took to get to yep. the disease. So, like, a disease could take 20, 10, 20 years, 30 mm-hmm. years to to accumulate enough. I mean, that's how resilient the human body is, mm-hmm. even when we have come you know so so back to the question of because i don't want anyone to feel um kind of there's no judgment about if someone had to have a cesarean section, oh no no, no no a, a lot of people elect them for cosmetic reasons or f- easy you mm-hmm. know f- whatever but there's again there's no judgment but that's just the trend i mean mm-hmm. there was in the 50s like they would put the mothers out and like vacuuming the baby out of the thing. Yep. So there's been a lot of like <laughs> interesting, yep. you know, things that may have had some health issues in the past. But um, for someone that has um, had had to or elected to have their child via cesarean mm-hmm. section, um, so they didn't get that natural microbiome through the vaginal opening, um, how do you, it's possible to rebuild that Absolutely, absolutely. So it's, 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 it's the same to, way we would b- rebuild a forty or fifty year old. Because the hard you know? the hardware is there. The hardware is you there. You didn't get that microbiome software on the way out of the the right exactly. The vagina. Yeah, yeah. But um, so so I don't know. Give us a no. And, and you bring up a very valid point and, a, and an important point when I talk to patients. A lot of patients feel like they've done something wrong, right? Well, oftentimes I have to tell them, well, that's that's the medical intervention you had. It really wasn't your fault. It's not your fault you had to have X, Y, and Z. But the most important, so so don't spend time on it, right? Move forward. Yeah. The most important thing is it can heal. And you've seen some trauma, traumatic, or sorry, you've seen some dramatic cases of healing, you know, whether it be spontaneous healing or over time. And so I think once you truly believe and understand that your body can heal, regardless of what's happened to it, let's say you didn't get what you needed when you were one or two, you your body can heal given the, the appropriate, um, really the appropriate diet and lifestyle. That's a lot of it. So I think that's a very good question, actually. I'm glad you brought that up because there's a lot of guilt 
with patients, especially moms. Mm-hmm. And we spend a lot of time with our patients, you know, about that. Maybe they couldn't breastfeed and maybe they couldn't do this, that, the other thing. There's always ways to make the body and the baby and the, you know, grow into be healthy people. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you look at the worst scenarios, I mean, I have patients that, and we look at timeline when, when, we, when I say it takes a lot longer to get the disease than it does to reverse the disease. We, I have advanced cardiovascular patients that within a year, their arteries are cleaned out of their heart, their coronary arteries are clean when we go in and do an angiogram. So wow. same thing occurs with diabetes type two. You know, we can get a diabetes type two in six to 12 months fully resolved, right? Mm. But that takes the time. Yeah. You know, it takes commitment. the time and the commitment. Yeah, yeah exactly. But again, for, for kids as well, I think, you know, our food program's a disaster. You know, we tried to get a food program going several years ago. That didn't work out, you know, in schools. Yeah. But it, again, it's going to have to be a parent. The parents are going to have to get educated. That's why there, hopefully there's a lot of resources out there. And get educated to raise your, your kid in a healthy environment. Yeah, you know? in the My, best way you can. In the best with, way you can. With the yeah. awareness. Yeah. yeah, with the awareness. And I think yeah. that's it. It's the awareness. My yeah. parents had no awareness that, you know, giving me Kraft macaroni and cheese right. and <laughs> ordering Domino's pizza. I was a picky eater, you know what I mean? Like That orange packet? It's like, but I'm telling you, I was, ra- I was a picky eater. Yeah. Nothing yeah. green, mm-hmm. and this is no joke, people, nothing green passed my lips until I woke up my sophomore year in college, junior year, actually, I was, I was studying abroad. I looked at a photo of myself. I had gained like 15 pounds, but more than that, I was like puffy and red. I just looked so unhealthy. Mm-hmm. I did not eat a vegetable, maybe a salad in, mm-hmm. in my first couple of years in college with ranch dressing. Um, but I was raised on bread, red meat, cheese, and, and you know, whatever I, and peanut butter. Mm-hmm. And I am so healthy and I'm probably you know, I changed that when I was like 21. Mm-hmm. I started to eat clean and have a little bit more awareness. And then 28, I took an integrative nutrition program. Mm-hmm. But I'm telling you, if, if my gut and innards can heal, yeah, like absolutely. after 21 <laughs> years of really, really feeding it, nothing but crap. And I yep. think I got away with a lot because I was an athlete. I played mm-hmm. sports year round and I was, you know, getting rid of a lot of toxins via sweat or whatever, but, uh, and burning a lot of those calories out of my system. But the nutrition wasn't there right. and and i'm very healthy today so i think that there's always hope for making new lifestyle changes and always. and like you said you can heal way faster than than yeah you can and that, that's the most important thing for parents to know and then even people for, with their own self you know their personal health we the ability to heal it happens in a matter of moments right again going back to the shin on the thing just don't hit your shin again for a while mm-hmm. eh, go to vegas and hit it on down the road <laughs> for now get busy and allow the body to heal and that's i think the beauty is the hardest part is people following like the protocols and i should eat this and shouldn't eat that and or you know i gotta start walking now i never liked walking etc but once you do it it becomes mm-hmm. second nature. Yeah. And then all the things, all the benefits start paying off really, yeah. really fast. Thank you for listening to the Heal Podcast. Be sure to tune in for more empowering wisdom and inspiring healing stories. Oh, and make sure you hit the follow button on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts so you don't miss that one episode that holds the answer you've been searching for. And if you feel inspired, we would love you to rate and review us so that we have the opportunity to reach more people. And of course, you can follow us on Instagram for some behind the scenes fun and more inspiration at at Heal Documentary and at Kelly Gorris. Thank you so much and be well.